Welcome back to Vacation Bible School Day 3. We will be learning how Jesus was betrayed and rejected. and girls, welcome to Brown Missionary Baptist Church, day three of Vacation Bible School. My name is Miss Latrice and I have enjoyed you all so much this week. Well, we're on day three and tomorrow is our last day. Today's lesson is Jesus was betrayed and rejected. Monday's lesson, we talked about the promise that God gave us, and that promise was Jesus. On yesterday, which was day two, we talked about the power that God gave Jesus. And God gave Jesus the power to perform miracles. And in our lesson yesterday, remember, he performed a miracle on a blind man. And that man was able to see. So again, today we're going to talk about how Jesus was betrayed and he was rejected. Let's start with our prayer. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us here today to celebrate and worship you. Dear Lord, please allow everyone under the sound of my voice to open their precious hearts, mind, and ears to hear and understand your word during VBS. Lord, thank you for your darling son, Jesus, who died on the cross to save us from sin. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, and we love you. 
Please open up the hearts of all of the boys and girls so that they can become closer to you in your teachings. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, boys and girls. Again, same Bible verse. You should know it by now. It's coming from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29 and verse 13. And hopefully you could actually find it in your Bibles because yesterday we did this beautiful bookmark that you were supposed to place in your Bible right there at the memory verse. So our memory verse is, you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all of your hearts. So those of you who do not join us on Monday and Tuesday, I want you to repeat after me because it is my prayer that you remember this Bible verse. So repeat after me. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all of your hearts. Very good. Now let's say it together on the count of three. One, two, three. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all of your heart. Very good. Today's point of the day is Jesus knew what would happen but he still followed God's plan. In this story, boys and girls, we were going to talk about how Jesus was betrayed. Betrayed means when someone that you love or you think that you love or they love you treats you wrong. And that is a betrayal. Well, in today's lesson, Jesus was betrayed and he was also rejected. So here's our Bible story for today. Jesus spent three years teaching people about God and performing miracles, just as he did in our lesson on yesterday. He did that for three years. The time had come when Jesus was about to take a punishment for all of our sins. And I'm sure, boys and girls, you all are very familiar with that, what that punishment is going to be. You guessed it. It's the crucifixion. But what we're going to talk about today is what led up to the crucifixion. So what led up to the crucifixion was the Last Supper. Well, supper, boys and girls, your parents may not use supper in today's terms. We call it dinner. But Jesus and his disciples had one last supper. And here's the picture. This is Jesus breaking bread. And these are a couple of his disciples. And by looking at this picture, you can probably guess by the look of the faces of the people that's sitting on the side of Jesus, who the person was that was going to betray him. Well, let's get back to the supper or the dinner as you all are most familiar with. So during the dinner, Jesus taught his disciples. He said, when I am gone, I want you to continue to serve others. I want you to do unto others just I, as I have done while I have been here on this earth. That was his whole prayer for his disciples to carry out and to continue to serve others. He also said at that supper, he knew that there was a person sitting there, which was one of his disciples that was going to betray him. Everybody, as you can imagine, was looking around the table wondering, who is Jesus talking about? Who is going to betray him? Everyone wondered who it was. After they had eaten, Judas, which was one of the disciples, he was the one that was going to betray Jesus. He got up and he left the dinner table. Judas went and told the police where Jesus was. But Jesus had done nothing wrong. So clearly you can see and understand what the word betrayal means. Judas was a disciple of God. He was a follower of God. Yet Judas was the one that was going to betray Jesus. So as you can look in this picture, can you guess which one is Judas? You're right. This one here with the look on his face. While in the Garden of Gethsemane, Judas brought the soldiers and the chief police and the priests. They arrested Jesus and he had to go to court. He lost the case and he was crucified on the cross. 
Now, let's see if you remember. How long did Jesus spend performing miracles before his death? Did you say three years? Very good. He spent three years before his death performing miracles. Who did Jesus eat his last supper with? Very good. He ate the last supper with his disciples. Who betrayed Jesus? In other words, who did Jesus trust and, and thought was a follower of his, but he betrayed him? Very good. It was Judas. What did Jesus mainly talk about during the last supper? Very good. He talked about serving others and he was telling the disciples how important it is to continue to serve others. And how did Jesus die? How did he die, boys and girls? You're right. He was crucified on a cross. Let's pray. Thank you for opening the heart of all of our boys and girls. I pray that something was said for them to become closer to you. Amen. Have you asked Jesus to be your personal savior? He's waiting to hear from you. How do you do that, you may ask? I'm glad you asked. There are three things that you must do. First, letter A, admit. Admit that you have done wrong and ask for forgiveness as we all have done things wrong but we must be able to ask for forgiveness. B, believe in Jesus and that he died on the cross and he rose again for our sins. C, choose Jesus and God to be part of your life and for him to lead you and for you to follow him. If you believe in all of these things, then that means that you are ready to accept the gift of salvation. All right, boys and girls, now we are going to do a fun activity. So you should have a bed, and in that activity, it's going to be the one entitled Dig VBS Stand Up and Cross Crab Kit. So it's, it's one of the bigger bags, and it has some of these two, um, supplies inside of it. So get that bag, and I want you to lay all of your supplies out right in front of you. And we're gonna put this together, together. All right, it's exciting, exciting. All right, so also take out your instructions because while you're doing that, Miss Latrice is following the instructions to, to put our stand-up cross together, okay? All right, now what we're going to do is we're gonna start with our base. So you're gonna punch out the little, um, lines in the base. Punch all of those out, boys and girls. Get your parents to help you if you need them. Punch all of them out. There should be five punctures in all. All right, it should look like this. Then we have a sky. We have words that says five, find his. We have the cross, it says truth. We have some hills and some mountains. And we have a boy and we have a girl. So let's go ahead and punch out our boy. And punch out our girl. Very good. So now we have all of our supplies right in front of us. So all we're going to do now is insert those items into this brown base. So let's insert our sky first. That's the very first thing that we want to insert. And it's going to go on the first one. I'll do it first. It's very easy. You just insert it just like that and it's going to stand up. That's our sky. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to insert are our mountains right here. And that's going to be right in front of our sky. See? Look, it fits just like that, boys and girls. 
Very good. Next, we're going to insert our truth right here in front of our mountains. It goes just like that. Okay. Oh, it's one thing we need to make sure we do. That this is a sticker that says find his. So we need to take off the back so that it can stick on our cross. Just like so. Find his. Okay. All right. Now we have a picture of a boy and a girl. And we're going to simply insert those right in the front. And this is how your art and craft should look. It has the sky, the mountains, the cross, and a boy and a girl. And it says, find his truth. All right, boys and girls. So this is our art and craft for today, day three. This was our art and craft for day two, our bookmark. And this was our art and craft for day one. So day one was a prayer box. I hope by now you've added some things that you're praying for. Our bookmark. You were to place this in your Bible where our memory verse is in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13. And lastly, we have this beautiful arrangement, which is symbolic of the cross in which Jesus was crucified. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and talking about the portrayal of Jesus and his rejection. All right, that is our time for now. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and amazing week. Bye-bye. Open up. I can't get this thing to open up. Come on, umbrella. You're supposed to help me from getting wet. Ah. It's raining and my umbrella doesn't work and I feel terrible. I feel betrayed because this umbrella is not doing what it's supposed to do. And that feeling of betrayal is one that our Lord Jesus Christ felt. Uh, at this moment in time, uh, this is a lesson that we just learned that he was all alone. He had to follow the plan that God had for him, but he felt by himself betrayed by the world. Look, some of you may be feeling it or may have felt it at school. And look, we want to help you because Jesus Christ wants to get into that betrayal to help you see things in a new way. Uh, have your parents text the number below so that we can help you if you're feeling a sense of lostness and betrayal, knowing that our Father, He, Jesus Christ, was betrayed as well. And He understands how you feel. God, we thank you, uh, God, that you can empathize with us, that you know what we're feeling and that you want to act on our behalf. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We thank you so much for tuning in on today. Tomorrow, make sure you put on your orange and send those pictures in. Thank you for being with us. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.